the blue Petastar, the sign of Chrysler and Plymouth coming through with extra care in engineering. With Chrysler and Plymouth, extra care in engineering starts with a bare metal. Bare metal formed and welded into a tight, strong car body, unibody. Underneath three-sided steel frame members are welded directly to unibody steel floor to form box section members. Body and frame are made into one unit, strong and tight. Many competitive car makers build the car body separately from the frame. Then the two are bolted together. That's not as tight, not as strong. The frame and body can work their separate ways as road and ride forces twist up through the bolted structure. This two-piece construction cannot resist twisting forces as well as unibody. Unibody's welded-in support beams form a structure that surrounds the passengers and extends to all parts of the car body. Beams, body panels, and frame members are welded into a sturdy unit. All contribute to Unibody's overall strength. What's more, Unibody has bigger and stronger welds all through the body than most other cars. For one thing, Chrysler's engineering specifies wider body flanges to accommodate these larger welds. And that's extra care. Here's a 71 satellite station wagon, big and beautiful. But maybe you've never seen the strength that's built into a Plymouth wagon body. Like these rugged steel beams that span the wagon roof from side to side, and the steel roof rails that run from front to rear. They add strength, and they keep the roof from vibrating and causing noise. And look at this heavy steel construction for the wagon's rear pillar. Four-sided steel beam support for the tailgate and roof. Up front, you'll again find four-sided box section steel members, this time above the windshield and at the sides of the roof. All Chrysler and Plymouth models get this same sturdy construction in these areas. For 71, all satellite models get inner wheel housings under the front fenders, just like you find on Chrysler and Plymouth Fury models. These welded-in steel barriers protect the engine compartment and front fenders from corrosive road splash, and they strengthen the front structure of the car. Galvanized body side sills, sometimes called rocker panels, are also barriers against rust and corrosion. All Chrysler Plymouth cars have them. All Chrysler Plymouth car bodies are completely protected against rust and corrosion by the famous seven-step dip and spray treatments. Special chemicals clean and coat the body metal. Each car body is dipped to a depth of 22 inches, so all lower body metal is submerged and coated by chemicals that fight rust. Even the inner wheel housings and galvanized body sills are covered with anti-rust primer. Unibody stays strong and tight for years. Of course, a car that's going to deliver complete satisfaction must be a quiet car. So Chrysler Plymouth comes through with insulation that surrounds the passengers. It starts up front with a thick blanket of insulation on the dash, side cowl panels, and under the roof. This forms a barrier against noise, heat, and cold. Thick jute padding covers the floor under the carpet or rubber mats. Mastic sound deadener is sprayed on the insides of doors, quarter panels, and wheel housings, silencing these areas. Three-ply insulation separates the passengers from trunk noises and is also used under the package shelf. Even the rear roof pillars are insulated. Inner and outer steel panels of both the hood and the trunk lid are bonded together with adhesive mastic, prevents vibrations. An insulating pad under the hood is standard on Imperial and New Yorker, optional on other Chryslers and Plymouths. That's how unibody is silenced. Now for 1971, Chrysler Plymouth engineers take a giant step forward by making torsion quiet ride standard on all Plymouth Furies, as well as on all Chryslers. Torsion quiet ride is achieved by adding super cushion rubber isolators between the suspension and unibody. Eight of these cushions are used to isolate the front suspension, steering and drivetrain from the passenger compartment. Two big rubber isolator blocks surround the rear springs where they mount to the axle. Sounds and vibrations coming up from the road and axle are trapped in the rubber. They can't get through. That's why torsion quiet ride is super silent. 
It's the premium ride that must be test-driven. There's no other way to really know how quiet it is. On all Chrysler Plymouth cars, we insulate the parts you see here in color. The steering and the front suspension. Road rumble stops right there. Rubber in the rear suspension cuts noise back here. And you get this rubber suspension isolation on every Chrysler in Plymouth. And that includes the lowest priced Valiant. Chrome steel torsion bars are the heart of all Chrysler Plymouth suspension systems. Torsion bars work harder to control the ride than other types of springs. They're more efficient. You've probably observed the bouncy action of a coiled spring as it compresses and expands. But maybe you haven't noticed that the first coil at each end of the spring contributes almost nothing to springing action. They're dead ends. In a car suspension, these first coils merely hold the spring in place. In a torsion bar, live springing action extends the full length of the bar. Over 95% of the torsion bar is working to control the ride. What's more, torsion bars can be adjusted. An adjusting lever and bolt can be used to twist more tension into the torsion bar to raise the front of the car. With coil springs, there's no adjustment. If a coil spring sags with age, the car will lean to that side. Then the spring must be replaced or shims must be placed under it. Expensive either way. For rear suspensions, Chrysler Plymouth engineers specify leaf springs because the leaves provide more ride control than coil springs. Each rear spring is mounted to the car at two points, widely separated points. And this two-point mounting stabilizes the suspension and controls the ride. What's more, all driving and braking forces are cushioned by the rear leaf springs before they reach the car body. With coil springs, the axle is supported by steel links that cannot cushion these forces. Notice also how Chrysler Plymouth mounts the rear axle forward at the thickest sections of the rear springs. When you accelerate, the short leaves in front of the axle resist the weight shift which is how we eliminated acceleration squat. For years, cars also nose down at the front when the brakes were applied suddenly. This is annoying and uncomfortable. So Chrysler Plymouth redesigned the front wheel upper control arm. The control arm was angled up at the front, so the front pivot is much higher than the rear. Now here's what happens. When you put on the brakes and the car weight wants to shift forward, the angled control arm keeps the car level. One more reason why Chrysler Plymouth cars ride more comfortably. Here's a look at the soft foam padding inside a Chrysler Plymouth seat. The final touch in comfort for driver and passengers. Full foam padding is used on the seat backs of all bucket back bench seats. Bucket seats get full foam padding on the back and on the seat. Underneath the foam, bucket seat springs are formed to human body contours. Then the thick foam is slipped over the springs. You sit on nothing but soft foam and flexible springs. That's real comfort. There's no doubt about it. When it comes to superior ride comfort and handling control, Chrysler Plymouth engineers have put it all together. Strong, tight unibody, insulation, isolation, and torsion bar suspension. And torsion quiet ride gives Chrysler and Plymouth Fury models the greatest ride on wheels. It's the ride you must test drive to know how quiet and controlled it really is. These are the engineering features that make all Chrysler Plymouth cars superior to their competition. It's the ride that demonstrates dramatically how Chrysler Plymouth is coming through for you with extra care in engineering for 1971. Christ the